What is up guys, it's Chu here, bringing another review on Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory. This episode is making it seem as though something really bad is about to happen to Nami. I feel as though we're going to have a big reveal about Nami's abilities. Uh, not going to spoil that quite yet, or talk about that quite yet. Um, but, I was not expecting Lemon. Um... And I'm going to say this, this is probably going to be the title of the video. I mean, the title of my uh, video, yeah. Uh, when life gives you lemons, you make, you make justice. And that's really what's going to, that's what's going to be in the title. I kid you not, that is going to be the title. But, this, this episode really just set us up with uh, Sosuke having to fight an M9. Uh, not only was that a top-notch uh, AS uh, but we also find out that this the person that was in it was none other than a former comrade uh, different division but still the same comrade and instead of accepting death uh, he basically chickens out uh, it was really something that I was not expecting uh, I really wasn't uh, the episode overall was full of surprises. I mean, the first surprise being that Lemon is out. He gets out of jail. Uh, one of his colleagues get him out. I thought that there was just a random dude that was just kind of passing by and getting, getting him out. Something He may have known a fellow journalist, but uh, turns out that this person is a lot more than just that. So, uh, I was surprised with that. And then we have... Everyone kind of gathered together in the whole, uh, I guess the, even the policemen were getting together and split up Sosuke and then splits up Nami and then splits up the rest of the crew. And uh, the crew is going to this slaughterhouse to basically be dealt with, uh, which was terrible by the way. And Nami's taken kind of like as hostage uh, for, uh, I guess kind of like a liability. But throughout the whole car ride, before they are split up, it seems as though Nami has an ability. The same ability as Tessa and Kaname. Now, Sosuke is kind of getting a little concerned because she was able to draw up all this programming with no knowledge on how to do it. Mediocre, possibly, uh, is what it seemed to be. But in reality... She was able to do a flawless programming that to Sosuke was a huge surprise. So, it definitely was surprising to see that. Uh, but, it was even crazier to see how Lemon shows up in the episode once again. But to pretty much serve justice. I mean, we saw that the people, the crew members, were going to be thrown into there. Uh, we saw the corrupt police chief have... Uh, asked Karama if he wanted to watch. He's like, I'm not wasting my time. I'm just going to be focused here on watching Sosuke. Sosuke tries to shoot at the viewing area, but the gun that he was using was uh, pretty much locked onto not hitting them. It was some kind of block in there, not letting him. He could shoot anywhere else but there. Uh, very smart thinking, honestly. And uh, what was even smarter was the tactics that Sosuke used to actually one-up the M9. It was really cool to see Sosuke in this older model, a, a savage, uh, or salvage, I mean, it should be salvage, but it's a savage model where the shape of it really helped it out. Uh, the M9 stood no chance against Sosuke, uh, him using his brains and his tactics, and Karama knowing that it was going to happen, so... But it was interesting, like I said earlier, it, that the person in it was a former colleague member who decided to join up, maybe not by choice, but rather decided to do this than be dead. Uh, but by the end, we see how he basically is uh, just, I don't know if he feels guilty, but Sosuki's like, when said, you know, we're just mis mercenaries, like, no, we're not, at least I'm not. I'm no longer a mercenary, I'm just a man, and I need to recover something precious that I lost. And, of course, he made mention of Chidori 
and two times in this episode. So his goal is clear. We know what he wants. Um, but uh, the reveal also of by the end of it that Kurama has Nami in her possession. He knows that Sosuke is out there and he threatens him to kill Nami. So it, it seems that Sosuke is in a really bad bind. Uh, uh, probably really harding really hard to think about what would be the best solution he doesn't want nami to die obviously and if he his suspicion is correct he doesn't want kurama to obtain uh nami it'd be another whisper so it'd be like double trouble for him especially like i said he's really caring for nami more than more than anyone other than chittery at this moment he doesn't want either one of them to die but his goal is still chittery. The main goal is to try to find a way to get her. But it's really a tough situation for him to be uh, handling by himself. I'm hoping though by the next episode we get this guy who used to be a, a former colleague of his to help out. And maybe Lemon will show up and help out with his colleagues. Uh, we haven't seen exactly what Lemon is doing. Uh, what his true intentions are. In the whole scene here and this whole story we haven't seen but hopefully uh, lemon can help and rescue Nami and get some information uh, it'd be it would probably be what I think would happen uh, but we'll have to see what happens for the next episode but overall very good episode I really enjoyed it and I do apologize that the episode review is coming out a little later I had uh, some stuff to do uh, work related things and uh, I'm sorry if the reviews kind of jumbled up. I try to, can, you know, I was kind of excited watching this, so I try to explain the best that I could. But let me know what you guys think overall. What did you think about the episode? What you're looking forward to? As always, guys, stay safe, and I will catch you later.